Hello everyone, welcome back. This video shows you how to crochet a mobile pouch and the materials required are 3 ply acrylic yarn 50 grams each, any two colors, crochet hook, 3mm button, stitch marker, scissors and a blunt needle. Let's begin our project by making a slip knot. After completing the slip knot, work a chain 18. Now we have oak chain 18. For the round one, we are going to skip the very first chain and into the second chain we are going to work two single crochet increase. So first single crochet increase into the same chain space we are going to work the second single crochet. After completing the two single crochets, place marker in top of the first single crochet. Now we have placed our marker. From the next chain, we are going to work one single crochet into the next 15 chains. So count it and work one single crochet in next 15 chain. Now we have completed working our 15 single crochets. There will be one chain left alone. Into that chain we are going to work 4 single crochet increase. So into the last chain we are going to work the very first single crochet increase, second single crochet increase and third single crochet and the fourth one. So we have worked 4 single crochet increase. Now turn the arc and we are going to arc into the loops. So we are going to work one single crochet in next 15 loops. This will be our first loop and into the second loop we are going to work one single crochet. Into the third loop we are going to work one single crochet like this continue arc until you reach the 15th loop. Now we have worked one single crochet in 15 loops. Into the last loop we are going to work two single crochet increase. So first single crochet increase and into the same loop we are going to work the second single crochet increase. After completing the two single crochet remove the next marker and work a slip stitch. Now we have completed our first round. In the end of the first round, we will have 38 single crochet. For the round 2, begin with the chain 5. After completing the chain 5, into the same chain space, we are going to work 1 double crochet. So into the same chain space, work 1 double crochet. After completing the double crochet, we are going to place a marker in chain 3. After placing the marker, we are going to skip the next 3 chains, so 1, 2 and 3. Into the 4th chain, we are going to work 1 double crochet, chain 2 and 1 double crochet. So we have worked our first double crochet. Now work chain 2 and into the same chain space, again work 1 double crochet. Now again skip the next 3 chains. And into the fourth chain, we are going to work one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet into the same chain space. Again, skip the next three chains into the fourth chain of one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. Like this, repeat the same pattern throughout the round two. I will be meeting you in the end of the round two.
now we are in the end of our round 2 remove the next marker and work a slip stitch After slip stitching, again we are going to slip stitch in chain 2 space. So slip stitch in chain 2 space. For the round 3, we are going to work a chain 3. And into the same chain 2 space, we are going to work 2 double crochet. So first double crochet. And the second double crochet. Place marker in top of the chain 3. After placing the marker, we are going to work the front post double crochet together. So we are going to work in the double crochet of the previous round. So yarn over, insert the hook in the double crochet, grab the yarn, pull up the loop, come out of two loops. Again, yarn over, insert the hook in the next double crochet, grab the yarn, pull up a loop and come out of two loops. Now we are going to come out of all three loops. This will be our first front post double crochet. Again we are going to work in the chain 2 space. So work 3 double crochet, chain 1, 3 double crochet in chain 2 space. So we have completed our 3 double crochet, work a chain 1 and in the same chain space again work 3 double crochet. So first double crochet, second double crochet, third double crochet. After completing this, we are going to work one front post double crochet together again. So yarn over, insert the hook in the very first double crochet below. Grab the yarn, pull up a loop, come out of two loops. Again yarn over, insert the hook in the next double crochet, grab the yarn, pull up a loop, come out of two loops. Again come out of all three loops. Again we are going to work in the chain two space. So work three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet in chain two space. This will be the pattern of the round 3, 3 double crochet, work a chain 1, again work 3 double crochet. After completing the 3 double crochet, again we are going to work one front post double crochet together in the double crochet of the previous round. So yarn over, insert the hook in the double crochet, grab the yarn, pull up a loop, come out of two loops. Again yarn over, insert the hook in the next double crochet, grab the yarn, pull up a loop, come out of two loops. Again come out of all three loops. Again in the chain two space, we are going to work three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. So continue the same pattern throughout the round three. I will be meeting you in the end of the round three. Now we are in the end of our round 3. Here we are going to work one front post double crochet together in the double crochet and the chain 3 space. So yarn over, insert the hook in the next double crochet below and come out of 2 loops. Again yarn over, insert the hook in the chain 3 space, grab the yarn, pull up a loop, come out of 2 loops. Now we have 3 loops, come out of all 3 loops. Now we are going to work 3 double crochet chain 1 in chain 2 space. So first double crochet, second double crochet, third double crochet, and chain 1. After working chain 1, slip stitch in chain 3. After slip stitching for the round 4 begin with chain 5 and 1 double crochet in same chain space. After completing the double crochet place marker in top of the chain 3. In this round we are going to work chain on space. So in the next chain on space. We are going to work 1 double crochet, chain 2, 1 double crochet. Again, 
again in the next chain on space we are going to work one double crochet chain two and one double crochet so repeat the same pattern throughout the round four i'll be meeting you in the end of the round four Now we are in the end of a round 4, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. After slip stitching in chain 3 space, again slip stitch in chain 2 space. Now for the round 5, begin with a chain 3 and work 2 double crochet in same chain. First double crochet into the same chain space of the second double crochet. Place marker in top of chain 3. So this round will be similar to the round 3 pattern. After placing the marker into the next two double crochet below, we are going to work one front post double crochet together. After working the double crochet together into the next chain 2 space of 3 double crochet, chain 1, 3 double crochet. After completing 3 double crochet chain 1 3 double crochet into the next 2 double crochet of the previous round we are going to work 1 front post double crochet. After completing the 1 front post double crochet together into the next chain 2 space we are going to work 3 double crochet chain 1 3 double crochet. Continue the same pattern throughout the round 5. So this pattern is the repetition of 2 rows. Row 4 and row 5. So repeat the row 4 and row 5 until you reach the round 17. And in the 17th round we are going to work the loop. So watch the video before working the row 17. Now we are in the middle of the round 17. I have worked the front post double crochet together. Now work a loop. So we are going to work chain 18. After completing the chain 18, Slip stitch in top of the chain and again continue the same pattern that is after completing the one front post double crochet we will be working chain 2 space 3 double crochet chain on 3 double crochet after completing the 3 double crochet chain on 3 double crochet again work one front post double crochet together like this repeat the same pattern throughout the round 17 i will be meeting you in the end of the round 17 now we are in the end of the round 17 remove the marker and work a slip stitch after slip stitching work a chain on and cut the extra yarn out Weave in all the extra yarns using a blunt needle.
Now we are going to place the button. You can sew the button using the sewing needle or you can use the pattern that I have shown in the video. So friends I hope you really enjoyed this video now we are in the end of our video if you are new to my video subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for the notification so I am signing off thanks for watching take care and bye bye